Round five of the Formula One season has arrived in Catalonia for the Spanish Grand Prix and with practice underway, there are already some clear changes in the pecking order. Red Bull have a considerably large amount of upgrades for their car and it was shown with both Clean and Coulthard consistently in the top 10 throughout the entire weekend across all the practice sessions. The team were optimistic in regards of the possibility of adding more points to their sole point they have already this season. Toyota, as promised, had delivered and had an upgraded car with plenty of upgrades for the Spanish Grand Prix. The Japanese team was showing real promise and are looking for podiums come race day. The team looked like they were in very good shape to achieve that, especially Jarno Trulli who has been brilliant so far this weekend whereas Ralph Schumacher has struggled. Fry were also building on their recent good form and despite a very poor race in Imola, the Italian team did look quick at the last race and continue to do so here in Spain. Barrichello, similar to Ralph Schumacher, has struggled for pace compared to seven times world champion Michael Schumacher. Fry are definitely in contention for podiums this weekend, especially if their qualifying form continues to improve. But without further ado, let's jump into qualifying for the Spanish Grand Prix. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and this is episode number 5 of my F1 2005 Schumacher Return Series and we're here for the Spanish Grand Prix in Catalonia, the old Catalonia layout as you can see there without the chicane at the final corner which is much much better than the current layout but um, here we are for the Spanish Grand Prix like I said and uh, Michael Schumacher currently is getting ready for his one and only uh, qualifying lap and I'm really cool to this race actually, last time I was seeing him, if you haven't missed it, spoiler alert, we had a pretty poor uh, uh, Italian Grand Prix or San Marino Grand Prix and we didn't really deliver in front of the Tifosi, so we really, we really need to make amends this race. And also, obviously, we're slipping away in the Drivers' Championship and also in the Constructors. So we really do need a bit of an upturn in our form. And hopefully, this is a race where things can start to turn. And uh, right now, Michael Schumacher is down in the first sector on Montoya, who's currently got pole position with a fantastic lap there in the top left-hand corner of your screen. He did a really good lap in qualifying. And... Um, he was much, much faster than anybody else. But right now, as you can see, Schumacher is on his lap, and hopefully the second half of the lap can be much better, and he can get him right into the top five at least. So here we go. Then going for the left, right, chicane, turn seven and eight, I believe, going uphill, approaching this very tricky right handle, which has to carry as much speed as possible through to not lose any momentum. And Michael Schumacher rings it out to the very last centimeter on the curb there. You don't want to go into the AstroTurf, because the AstroTurf does actually spin you off on this track, and it's very dangerous, as we now go into the hairpin, and Schumacher is pretty much eight tenths down now, and he misses apex with the hairpin, so not a great lap from Schumacher here. Here. It's still much better than what um, he's done in previous races, but um, obviously it's going to be hard to match with the last time I had Imola, which was a third place. So um, here we go through the final two corners, carrying as much speed as possible. Now into the final corner, down the fourth gate, kiss the apex, run it out nice and wide, try and pick up as much speed as possible. And across the line, Michael Schumacher goes P6 and uh, one point. One whole second actually off the, off the pace. I was going to say 1.8 there, but it's actually one second. And then uh, quickly turn down the engine to save as much fuel for the race as possible. And overall, a pretty solid qualifying lap there from Michael Schumacher. P6 gets him right up in the sharp end there. And he's got a proper chance of having a look at the race winner. And looking at the, the entire qualifying results, Montoya in first and Heifel in second. So both of them there, the championship leaders doing the job with Montoya obviously in first place, Heifel in second. And then uh, Takuma Sato doing a very good job to get third place. Then Jano Trudy also in very impressive in fourth place in his TO. And then John Colofuzzi Keller there, the first of the two runners in fifth place with Schumacher in sixth, and then uh, Mass in seventh, and then Coulthard and Clean in eighth and ninth. So Red Bull re responding well here, and then Ralph Schumacher ran off the top ten, and then Barrichello all the way down to thirteenth, and also Alonso in twelfth, and also Kimi Raikkonen down there. So a couple of shocking results, but overall, it's been a really interesting qualifying, and we're now going to jump into the race to see how all the action will unfold for the Spanish Grand Prix. So here we are then, it is race day here at Spain, as you see looking at the back of the grid, we're going to wait for those five red lights to turn on, and here we go then, I can't wait to get on the way here, hopefully we can try and get a good result, and uh, here we go, the five red lights are coming on now, and the Spanish Grand Prix is underway right about now as the lights go green, and we're going to try and get a pretty good start off the line here, and Mark Schumacher actually gets a really good start, cranking the engine right up into the fastest boost mode, and here we go then, right to turn one, Mark was already made up about four positions as we go into the first corner for the first time this race, taking it nice and easy, Sato is going to give Schumacher a, bit, a good old uh, squeeze onto the curb there, but Mark was having none of it as he goes around the outside, and then tries to overtake Sato up the inside, but Sato carrying much more momentum around the outside of turn number three, and a really good start from Schumacher up into fourth place already, so he's getting a couple of places from his starting position as we make our way later on, on the end of lap number one, Schumacher is on the back of the Kumasato as we make our way into the 
hairpin and is Chimiko going to have a look up the inside? Yes, he does. He runs in a little bit deep, which allows Sato to get a little bit of a switch back on him. But Shimaka is not going to have none of it. And I think he's just going to try and hang him out to dry like he does just there. And uh, she runs a little bit wide there. So Sato could come back at Michael Shimaka here. Shimaka is still on the outside, but Shimaka is going to try and hang around the outside. And there we go. He makes a move stick and he takes P3 eventually. And a fantastic start to the race, like I said, for Michael Shimaka already. As we skip later on onto the start of lap number four. And uh, Shimmy is on the back of Haifa as my phone goes off. Down down the pit straight now with a slipstream. He goes to the inside, a bit aggressive you could add, but uh, he does go to the inside there, almost onto the grass. It's a drag race into the first corner, and it's a question of who's going to blink first. And Harfeld's a little bit better on the brakes, but Michael is going to get him nevertheless into the first corner there with a textbook easy move into the first corner. And uh, there's now one more car between Michael Schumacher in first place, and these bridge turns are now really nicely up to the temperature, and the Ferrari really is working well around here. And this was a good sign from Friday practice that the Ferraris would be dangerous in the race, and this has really come to fruition. As you can see, Schumacher and Montoya going side by side, down the pit straight, and Marcus actually got ahead of Montoya before turn one, so good move there from Shumi, but um, Montoya's actually going to have none of it, and he's coming straight back at and there's contact between the two there. Montoya, who ran a little bit deep, had to lose a lot of speed through the corner, and that made Schumacher hit the back of him through the first corner there, but um, Montoya has regained first place, and fantastic battle, and obviously these two are some very old, epic rivals, and they these two know to have a lot of the back of their hands, so it's some fantastic racing expected here, and Montoya really is going to want to get the edge over Schumacher, and um, as you can see, skipping later on, and uh, so far the race is really getting really tasty. This battle between the two of them is getting really interesting. And Schumacher's all over the back of Montoya, trying to find a way past the Colombian. But Montoya really is putting up a hard fight as the bang wheels there. There's a bit, of, I think, a bit of wheel banging there into turn seven, and Schumacher actually goes up the inside of Montoya and gets the move done. But Montoya is having none of it, and as you can see, he's literally. On, on these rear wing, he's literally strapped on there. He is so close to Michael Schumacher. But here we go into the hairpin. Is Montoya going to go for the dive? He's going to have a look up the inside. Can Schumacher hang it around the outside? Yes, he can. It's a fantastic move there. And uh, Michael holds on to the lead of the race. So good stuff for him. And um, so far, so good. But then later on, on lap number nine, Montoya actually found some pace and he came right back into it. And uh, Schumacher actually made a mistake under pressure from Montoya, being forced onto the curb and the AstroTurf, which I mentioned in practice can uh, spin you out and that's allowing Montoya to get back through but Schumacher is trying to have a go around the outside of Montoya here and can he make it stick he runs onto the AstroTurf again and uh, that just hinders Michael and he can't get the move done on Montoya and now Montoya has regained the lead and also behind Highfield, Vizicello and Sato and even Yano truly it's like a six car scrap for the race lead here the top six covered by about three seconds and it's getting really tasty here in Spain as now Schumacher goes to the inside on Montoya with a slipstream, can he make a move into turn one? Have a little glance over to his left hand, start to see where Montoya is. And this time, Schumacher does get the move done there. Montoya's going to try and come back at him, but Schumi's having none of it. And he's going to retake the lead of the race, and that is a job well done for him. But skipping later on, and once again, Montoya's having none of it. And on lap 16, or sorry, lap 10, Montoya's got to come back at Schumacher one lap later than the last one. And uh, Schumacher ran onto the AstroTurf again, which seems to be a bit of a problem for Mark with this race. And um, as you can see, meanwhile, Heifold's gone for the move at the inside. A bit of an audacious move. And and he ran in a little stupidly deep and Michael just got a perfect little switch back on him to regain P2 and that was from Mario Fisichella up in the third place but later on Michael has a massive lock up one lap later onto P11 and it seems to be this part of the track where Shumi is having all sorts of problems and now Fisichella is having a look at Michael Shumi he's going to give him a good old squeeze onto the curb there but Michael's having none of it and he's still going to try and fight back and he's going to regain the place there and there's a fantastic drive between the two of them now and they're skipping later on quite a few laps later onto lap 15 now getting towards the end of the race there's only five laps to go or so and uh, Shimmy is right on the back of Montoya once again. He's pulled away from Pizzichella a little bit. 1.7 the gap right now. And uh, Michael's got a little bit of a cushion. So now it's Montoya versus Schumacher here as we go into turn number four. Michael runs a little bit deep there. Montoya's going to try and get the cut back on him. Can Montoya make a stick? Yes, he does. And he regains the lead of the race. It's now Michael is right on the back of Montoya. Can he make a move? He's been contacted. He spun round. Michael spun round again. So just like uh, the last race in Imola, Michael's had an incident. But this time, luckily enough, the cushion that the top six or so had over the rest of the field was so big that uh, Marco actually managed to uh, recover quite nicely and he didn't get beached into the gravel which was crucial for him so um, Marco actually rejoined in, th in third place or fourth place I believe so he's not too far down so um, now is a risk of um Michael had to go gung-ho and just really throw the kitchen sink at these last five laps to see what he could do. As you can see, he's cranked up the engine to the maximum to boost 10. And he's going to go full on to the end of the race and see how much he can do, how much damage he can do. And see if he can still try and win this race. So here we go then. He gets past Yono Trudy straight off the bat there. A lovely little textbook move. And the straight line has been the throwing now with the engine cranked up to the max. It's absolutely 
unbelievable and a, a couple laps there it catches up to the back of Giancarlo Fisichelli he's going to go for a lovely little move up the inside doing a little dummy on him and he's going to make the move up the inside of the hairpin but Fisichelli gets a lovely little switch back on the seven times world champion but Schumacher's going to hang it around the outside and um, he's going to really just keep you know just stand firm and not give not yield the position and he's going to make the move stick and he's back up into P2 and Montoya is just down the road so Montoya really has some his foot down and um, that's going to give Schumacher a second chance here as you see Marco still got the engine turned up to the max and look at the straight line speed difference as we go into the hairpin Marco's going to be much faster but Montoya is much better on the brakes than Schumacher and the Montoya manages to outbreak Marco but here we go on the side by side Fusa Fernandez contact once again between the two of them but Schumacher's just going to go around the outside of Montoya on pure pace alone as he goes around the outside but Montoya is still on the, on the inside but Marco is going to have none of it he's going to hang around the outside Montoya has to yield and that is Marco back up into first place and that was pretty much all that happened this race as you can see Marco coming for the final two corners on the last lap of the race he had an awful race last time out in Imola in front of Tifosi but this time he's going to bounce back straight away with his second win of the season and he takes a checkered flag here at the Spanish Grand Prix and a fantastic result for Michael Schumacher and a massive 10 points for him that he really didn't need this race and overall the team also needed just to really show that Ferrari were not slipping back and um, overall Ferrari, Michael Schumacher, the fans and just everyone will be very happy with that result and that was a much needed 10 points for Ferrari and um, we're going to look at the final race results here and as you can see Michael Schumacher obviously takes the race win 1.2 seconds faster than uh, Montoya and then Th Fisichella takes up third place with Verano truly finishing in fourth Nick Haifa dropping down to fifth place there with the Kumasato in sixth Kimi Raikkonen all the way up in seventh though so a good draft from him and then Mark Webber running off the points in eighth place with Alonso the hometown hero in tenth place and then Rubens Barrichello all the way down in P14 so a disappointing race for him but overall looking at the drivers championship as you can see Montoya actually um, extends his lead over Heifeld so so um, that's the crucial thing in the day and uh, he's quite a fair few points ahead uh, clear of the rest of the field and then Schumacher still in third place there with Fisichel up in the fourth and then Raikkonen and Alonso really starting to make their way back up through the field there and um, Button dropping down to ninth place and truly getting themselves up in eighth place and then looking at the second half of the table not a single change here except for Weber getting uh, one single extra point than what he had before so I'm um, now looking at the constructors and uh, it is McLaren who are setting the pace at the moment with Williams in second and then crucially Ferrari have overtaken BAR this race so uh, Mark Schumacher doing the job and uh, that's promoted Ferrari ahead of BAR Honda for this race but nevertheless guys it's been a fantastic episode here of Schumacher Returns in Spain and hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and if you are then please do smash the like button let's see if we try and hit 80 likes on this that would be absolutely insane and I really appreciate you guys for it but nevertheless guys this has been our episode of Schumacher Returns I've been Thomas MSD and I'll see you on my next one very very soon goodbye <laughs>